Hi, my name is Cindy Farr and I'm the incident commander for the Missoula City County Health Department's COVID-19 response. Today is Wednesday, October 14th, and this is our COVID briefing. We've had 1,481 cumulative positive cases in Missoula County to date with 69 new cases since yesterday. We're still having a big increase in cases with a total of 599 new cases in Missoula County in the last two weeks. We've had 987 recoveries and five deaths and 10 Missoula County residents and eight non-county residents are currently hospitalized in Missoula County. We now have 489 active COVID-19 cases and we have currently identified nearly 1400 close contacts. Those active cases and their close contacts remain in isolation and quarantine and are being supported as needed. The state of Montana is reporting 20,210 cumulative COVID cases, which is up 668 new cases from yesterday. There are now 7,917 active cases with 292 active hospitalizations across the state. There have been 225 deaths related to COVID-19 statewide. According to the CDC, Montana is now in the top four states in the country for COVID-19 spread per 100,000 people when looking at the spread in the last seven days. The University of Montana has had 253 cumulative UM associated cases since the beginning of fall semester, which is up 10 since yesterday. There are currently 77 active cases associated with the University of Montana. So now I am going to try and share my screen here so that we can look at a couple of graphs. So this graph is showing you this graph is showing you what our rolling 14 day trans our transmission number is for Missoula County. As you can see um, that dipped a little bit, but um, Calculating the R value, it actually goes back to the beginning of October. So this is a couple, we're looking back two weeks. If we look at the route of transmission for the current active cases in Missoula County, you can see that 56% of our active cases have been identified as close contacts to a confirmed case, while 39% have been um, have an unknown source, which means that it is community spread. We are starting to see that community spread um, percentage going up. This next graph that we're looking at is the percent of active COVID-19 cases by age group. As you can see, um, the number of, of folks that are in their 20 to 29 year old age range is dropping. A couple of weeks ago, that was nearly 50%. Now it's down to 28%, and we're starting to see increases in all of our older age groups here. And if we look at the incidents by age group, you can see um, that a large majority of our cases so far um, per 100,000 population have been in the 20 to 29 year old age range. But if we look at this number here, you can see that we're seeing a huge increase in um, the incidents per 100,000 population in those over the age of 80. And if we look at these graphs, this is our active cases in the past 60 days. You can see that that number just keeps going up. And these are um, daily new cases of COVID-19 reported in the last 60 days with the seven day moving average as the trend line. So next, I want to let everyone know that we are caught up in case investigation and we're working on getting caught up on contact tracing. I just want to say a public thank you to the team and to the staff who stepped in to help us get caught up. As you can imagine, doing case investigation and contact tracing for the 599 new cases that we got hit with in the last two weeks was a pretty heavy lift. As I said, we're still working on the contact tracing for some of those cases, but hope to be caught up in the next few days. I also want to let everyone know that we recognize that our call volume for our test scheduling is continuing to increase and people are having really long wait times. We are actively working on this issue, but our county phone lines can really only accommodate so many people at one time. So please be patient and we will get to you. Um, we are receiving several hundred phone calls per day and we're able to schedule roughly 150 people per day for testing. 
Next, I want to talk about where we're seeing cases. We are getting a lot of questions about this. We are still seeing the cases spread in clusters. This means that it's usually spreading within a group of friends, within household members, roommates, coworkers, and in congregate living situations. We've recently seen an increase in the number of cases in staff and residents in senior living facilities here in Missoula. That is very concerning as we know that people over the age of 60 and those with chronic health conditions are at highest risk of poor outcomes if they contract COVID-19. Today, our health officer is issuing new restrictions for senior living facilities to try to help stop the spread in those environments and to better protect this most vulnerable population. We do know that isolation is a very real concern for those folks right now, but we um, really need to stop the spread of COVID in these facilities. And so we would encourage you that if you have a loved one in a senior living facility, try to connect with them in other ways, such as frequent telephone or video chats. Last, I just want to touch base a little bit on enforcement. Many of you may have seen that there have been a couple of bars that were recently ordered to close. Our enforcement team has been doing unannounced inspections and in businesses that are found to be in violation of the governor's directives or the health officer orders, they're given educational opportunities to follow the directives and orders. If they're visited multiple times and found to be in continued violation, then they receive a closure order. That order is then in effect until such time that the business is able to produce a plan that shows how they are going to come into compliance. Once that plan is approved, they're allowed to reopen. Our enforcement team will continue to do unannounced inspections as well as routine inspections to ensure that businesses are doing their part to keep our communities safe. You can also do your part to keep each other safe by continuing to practice social distancing, frequent hand washing, wearing a face covering. At this time with the surge in cases, if you are in a vulnerable population such as over 60 immune compromised, or you have chronic health conditions, you may want to consider limiting your exposure to other people in order to minimize your chances of contracting COVID-19. Remember that the symptoms can vary from no symptoms at all to very mild symptoms to extreme, extremely severe and life-threatening. So if you develop any symptoms, please call 258-INFO to schedule a test through our free testing site, or you can call your healthcare provider, or you can look on our website and find out the other clinics in our area that are offering testing. So that's it for my daily briefing today. As always, you can subscribe to me on YouTube under my name, Cindy Farr, that's C-I-N-D-Y-F-A-R-R. -R. Click that notification bell so that you get notified when additional videos are uploaded. You can check out our new website at MissoulaInfo.com. You can follow us on Facebook at the Missoula City County Health Department's Facebook page, and you can call 258-INFO if you have questions about COVID-19 or you would like to schedule a free test through our drive-through testing facility. Until next time, everybody, stay healthy.